Hello and welcome to Symmetrical Shapes. In this lesson, we are going to not only be looking at if shapes are symmetrical, but in how many ways the shapes are symmetrical. Okay, so you've got a sheet here with beautiful flowers and on the board they are pink even. But what we're looking at is, um, first of all, let me remind you of what symmetrical means or symmetry. Okay, so it says that shapes are symmetrical when they can be folded in half to create two congruent parts. And remember, congruent means the same shape and size. Okay, so both sides are exactly the same. Okay, I think we understand symmetrical. So we've got two hands, and then if they were connected, then if I fold it in half right here, they're exactly the same, basically. Okay, so that, that's symmetrical. Now the second thing that you need to be reminded of is what a line of symmetry is. So a line of symmetry divides a symmetrical shape. So it's that dotted line that goes down the middle of a shape. So on this flower right here, we've got a line of symmetry here, and then that divides the flower here, and it divides the flower here. Okay, so line of symmetry for the symmetrical shape. If a shape is not symmetrical, it does not have a line of symmetry. Now, some shapes are special and some shapes have more than one line of symmetry. And uh, that's a, that says right here, some shapes have more than one line of symmetry. And this um, flower is actually really special. It has a, a ton of lines of symmetry. So first of all, the more obvious ones are along each of the petals. So there are three lines of symmetry right here. So there's one, two, three three lines of symmetry. But if you want to get even more advanced, this flower has twice that many lines of symmetry because you could go in between. You could go in between uh, the petals like this. This one gets a little confusing. But if you did it like this, that's also symmetrical. So there are technically, I'm going to start here and that ends right there. So I'll end up this one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six lines of symmetry on this one flower. Now, not all shapes are going to be like this. Um, usually, if a shape is like this, it is round in some way. Uh, because a circle, for example, tell you a little secret, is um, unlimited number of symmetrical lines. Okay, you could, you, there's an unlimited number that you could do. Um, next up, a square. So let's look at a square. It doesn't have quite as many lines of symmetry. But a square has four lines of symmetry. So it can fold this way. Now remember a square has four sides that are all exactly the same length. Not a rectangle, this is not the same for a rectangle. But, okay, so it can fold in half this way with a vertical line of symmetry. So vertical is up and down. Write that down if you don't know that because you're gonna need to know that in your lesson. Okay, this one right here has a horizontal line of symmetry that goes across the horizon, okay, thinking of it like that, and then it has one diagonal line of symmetry this way, and one, line of dia or one diagonal line of symmetry the other way, making a total of four lines of symmetry. So a square is a pretty special shape in that way. Uh, some shapes, on the other hand, have no lines of symmetry. So they are not symmetrical at all. No matter what way you fold it, this shape will never be symmetrical. Okay? Um, yeah, there's not much more to say about it. You, sometimes you have to try and just look a few ways to make sure. Um, but there are those shapes that are not symmetrical. So what you're going to do right now is you are going to determine on these three shapes right here, these practice ones, Number one, if they are symmetrical, and if they are symmetrical, in how many ways are these images symmetrical? So not necessarily the object, but the actual image itself. Okay, so how it's drawn, not if you move it, then it would be symmetrical, just how it is. Is it symmetrical? So pause the video now and decide. Uh, write down, draw the lines of symmetry on there, and then play the video again, and we'll go through it. Okay. So you should be done. <coughs> See, we can fit that on there. And first we've got the bat logo. And on the bat logo, uh, we've got, there's a line of symmetry right here. Notice I do a dotted line to show it's a line of symmetry. 
Um, if I went this way, the ears and the tail would not match up. If I went this way, um, because it's an oval, it would overlap goofy. So it has, it's symmetrical. Uh, in one way. Next up, we've got this balance here. And so let's see, if we did a vertical line of symmetry, uh, that would not work because these are one up and one down. They wouldn't match up. If we did it this way, well, it just wouldn't work at all. Uh, diagonal, I don't think that would work either. Because if we folded it, that would go this way and that would go that way wouldn't work. So this is non-symmetrical. Okay, and the last one right here is the butterfly. And actually, I don't think I put very hard images on here for you because this one is symmetrical, just like the bat symbol. And we couldn't go this way, we couldn't go this way, we couldn't go this way because the bottom's different from the top. So again, in one way. Um, in your lesson, you're gonna have, have images that are symmetrical in more than one way. But I guess these ones only are one way. But you saw ones up here of how they are symmetrical. All right, so that's symmetry and lines of symmetry.